Hey guys, what's going on? Inception here, and welcome to another video. Guys, we have the uh, Team of the Season Frim Pong to check out. Uh, with this card, guys, we're taking a look at someone who is uh, four star, four star, five foot seven, high, high work rates with an average body type. So if you are looking into buying cheap and safe FIFA coins, look no further than footcoinshop.net. They have the fastest service, an incredible loyalty reward system, and the best prices around. Use my creator code Inception when you sign up for your account and get a 5% discount with your order. Obviously, all of that stuff is actually really good to work with so far, right? Especially for the links that you can provide for your team with the different types of players you can get, right? Dutch players, uh, Bundesliga players. Uh, the main one is obviously going to be Diaby if he ends up getting the maximum upgrade from the Europa League card or if you have the team of the season version. All that, uh, all that good stuff, right? So with this card, guys... Uh, there's going to be two ways that I potentially see him being used, right? So one of the ways is obviously just mainly using him as a right back in the team, uh, maybe on the stay back while attacking overlap instruction, right? So he can kind of push into those side positions as much as possible uh, because, you know, you're already working with really good pace stats. 99 acceleration with a 99 for sprint speed is fantastic. Defensive stats all going to be in the 90s area for all the important stuff with a high defensive work rate, right? So some very good stuff there. The only thing that's gonna be low on the card is going to be in the strength department, right? So this is one way that you could potentially use a card. The other way that you can use this card is obviously going to be on the uh, gladiator chemistry style, right? Where you boost the shooting and the defending on the card because you already have really high base card stats for pace at a 99.99. And then what you do is you would actually line him up in the right mid position playing in the three back formation because he has great defensive capabilities and he has shooting capabilities as well, right? You could also technically use him as a right center mid if you really want to, but with the amount of center mids that it currently exists, uh, it would have to be one of those types of situations where you put him in the right mid position before you actually go into the game. And then in game, you would switch him to that midfield area, right? So it just depends on you know, exactly how you want to line them up. Obviously, with this card, the main thing that we have to test out is dribbling capabilities, mostly defensive capabilities to see how he kind of performs in game. Uh, passing is going to be in a good area, dribbling all in the 90s area, which is fantastic considering the fact that he's five foot seven uh, with the average body type. Defensive stats will be in a very good area. And then the physicality will also be in a good area too. We're going to be trying it out but with both the Gladiator and the Sentinel chemistry style. So, yeah, we'll mostly be using him in the actual right back position. And we played a few games with him in the center mid area as well uh, as the attacking oriented player. So we'll see how he kind of does in those positions. So, yeah, let's go see how he plays, man. Hopefully he's a beast. Oh, give me that pose. Well, that was a little bit weird. Worked out. The pace. Our trigger versus our trigger. done from punk hold your ground oh does well under pressure oh man if he wasn't offside that would have been a really really good play Nice try. Diaby's left stick is so good, man. Nice from Pong. Good stuff in Kunku. Getting involved in the attack. I like it. In 
Oh, definitely sure would be rewarded there, but... Howdy, what are What? I still got to it. So back underway here into the second half. I see your friend Pong in that scoopity scoops. Pong. So in around this area here, uh, we have a very good area where we show off uh, some of the pace you can work with with Frimpong, right? If you get him involved in the attack, obviously very, very quick player, even on that Sentinel chemistry style. So he can kind of get involved uh, in and around the 18 yard box. We create the space in this situation. We don't really have the attacking AI afterwards, but obviously fantastic to work with in that type of space. If I have him on that overlap instruction. In the defensive situation here with uh, Frimpong, first time pass was absolutely horrendous there with Ronaldo, uh, but we do end up switching to him in this situation. He doesn't do a specific animation, but we do end up getting the ball back. So we have a uh, opponent attacking in this situation here. You're going to see some very, very quick transition play where, you know, we're defending the middle of the area, quickly select Frimpong, transitions really well into the challenge afterwards. Oh, no animation there. Of course, Cobble saves me, but that should be my ball every single time, EA. from Bong's got it. Oh, from Pong, no. Well done. Our trigger merchants doing force passes, but Frimpong's got the pace. Oh, please, man. Get it. Yes. the ball again with Frimpong. You know what's funny is like uh, what his card used to feel like before, it's like it's like the same thing now because there's moments where he doesn't do any animations. Like he gets the ball, but there's like there's some center, uh, right backs that you use like defensively where they do better animations. Good job, Goretzka. This guy just snatches everything in the air. Eh? Goretzka is like another inspector gadget. No. Oh, the play was so perfect there too. Did he block it or he saved it? Okay. Okay. <laughs> Pong in the defense. It's a corner. Favoring the short one. Like that. Well, they've won the ball back quickly. Goes right through him, eh? That's what I'm saying. Like, sometimes this car doesn't defend. Like, he doesn't have, a, uh, have an animation. It's really weird. Really poor on that occasion. That's not a good effort. Giving the ball away. 
Well, we did initially get the ball there. Frimpong actually gets that in the midfield, eh? Okay, guys. So final verdict on the Frimpong card. So very versatile type of player because honestly, I was using him as a center mid and he did okay in the center mid position too as the attacking oriented player. So if you have some sort of like Dutch team that you're making, you want him to be a center mid, you could totally do that, right? But obviously uh, with him being Dutch, I think he's the best Dutch right back in the game. I don't think there's anybody else that touches him to be honest. Do, do, do. Right back. Let's take a look at what we have here. Okay. Uh, yeah, he's the best one. There's this guy too, but some people have been using him as an actual center back instead of a right back. So there is that. But yeah, Frimpong playing in the right back position. Um, you know, he performed really well for the most part there. I think the most noticeable thing, obviously, with this card uh, was obviously his pace, right? So 99 acceleration, 99 sprint speed in game does feel that way, um, especially since when you give him the sentinel chemistry style and you boost the aggression part of the card all of those things are very very noticeable right it's a very solid card to have on a team to give you those specific links that you need with diaby or some bundesliga players in general the only thing that i notice sometimes with frimpong's card is animation choices when it comes to defending there are moments where he doesn't have any defensive animation choices like at all you know uh there's players that i have used in the right back position uh, for instance, like a Carlos Alberto, or I've used a, a person like, um, like who's another very good example? Trent Alexander-Arnold's a really good one. If he, well, if he got any sort of card, he would have been crazy. Um, but Trent Alexander-Arnold has very good defensive animations. There's moments where when you're using Frimpong, he doesn't do anything. It's really weird. Like he'll still defend well enough for you, but he doesn't have like actual defensive animations sometimes. It's really, really strange, right? But that's only when it happens sometimes again even when he doesn't do it he still compensates really well with the pace being as high as it is the aggression being as high as it is as well as the high defensive work rate right so at the end of the day if you do end up packing this card as a red or you know you start you just pack him in general and you need him for the links in your team it's still going to be a very solid option to work with but in the right back position like i said i definitely if i was going to go for consistency with defensive animations i'd probably uh, go for somebody else, but obviously <laughs> you can't really work with anybody else in this guy's uh, position in the right back area for Bundesliga or for uh, the Dutch links. I think Bundesliga goes the same way, right? Because the only other player you can use is Thomas Munier, but Thomas Munier, honestly, for me, is more of like a stay back cover center, center mid, but then you kind of have to go out of your way to do that. Um, so if I go Bundesliga and then I go to right back, no, Kimmich is more of a um, more of a midfielder. If Juan Cancelo got like some sort of special card, Juan Cancelo, I think, would be the best right back for sure, without a shadow of a doubt. I don't know if you guys use that team of the year card, but that team of the year card is really, really good for sure. But um, yeah, no, still a good option. Like still a good option. Like I said, though, you guys can see from the animation choices sometimes that he doesn't do anything. It's really, really weird. But um, yeah, hopefully you guys enjoy this video today. I'll catch you guys for the next one. Peace out, dudes. Love you guys.